A five island archipelago located in the Eastern Caribbean, Guadeloupe is blessed with crystal clear waters, sandy beaches and a vibrant culture. It is a haven for natural resources that translate into solar, wind, hydro, geothermal and other clean energy supplies. However, these energy opportunities in Guadeloupe and the Caribbean are largely untapped, as developing the renewable energy sector in the region can often be challenging. To address the constraints on the sector, the Caribbean Export Development Agency, together with the support from the ACP Business Climate Facility BISCLIM, organized a two-day forum that was held in Ponta Pitre, Guadeloupe, on the 20th and 21st of January 2015. The two-day stakeholder forum to support SME development in bio and renewable energy in the Caribbean was attended by over 100 public and private sector participants from Europe, Caribbean, Africa and the Pacific, who discussed the future of developing renewable energy activities in the Caribbean, including identifying development barriers and measures for improvement. This workshop for us is of the utmost importance, given that it allows the 15 Cariforum countries, plus the French overseas territories like Martinique, Guadeloupe, and other islands. We even have people from Vanuatu, from the Pacific, and from Mauritania in Africa, and Canada, the United States, to discuss possible solutions for how, of developing SMEs in the renewable energy sector. And we were very happy to have this claim as partner in this type of event, given that without BISCLIM, Caribbean Export, which is a regional development agency, wouldn't have been able to mount this and bring people from the Pacific, from Europe, from Africa. Given that in the region we do have a lot of resources and knowledge, but we also need to compare that and exchange experience with our brothers in the Pacific, Africa, Europe. Today we are 15 countries talking about uh, energy, renewable energy. It's a great thing for us, it's a manner for us to be uh, seen by all the country of uh, Caribbean. And uh, we have to meet together, to sing together, to have a, a very good approach of energy in the Caribbean. I think this workshop is extremely timely and important because we have done many workshops on the technologies, on the various factors surrounding renewables, but we have not really focused on the business aspect of it, especially um, on small and medium enterprises. There are many, many opportunities for small businesses and there are many factors which do not encourage we need to focus on where the problems are and what we can do to encourage the development of small and medium enterprises in renewable energy technology. Energy in the Caribbean is among the most expensive in the world, as it relies heavily on imported oil. The region urgently needs to diversify, but the main obstacles to the Caribbean realizing its potential in alternative energy generation are the small size of the region's markets, the scarcity of capital, and the lack of a regulatory framework. At the moment, about 90% of all Caribbean countries are depending on imported fossil fuel, and we need to change this. But for that, it's required that the legislative framework and regulatory framework is uh, changed in such a way that everybody knows exactly what they have to do, utilities, what they, is expected from them to do in terms of renewable energy. And uh, also, it has to be raised the awareness by the, during um, of the households, of the uh, entire society, what renewable energy and energy efficiency can do for them. By improving the key policy and regulatory framework, um, you would be creating the enabling environment that would cause renewable energy to come into the energy market or the energy sector. Because presently, most of our legislation actually speaks to generation through the use of fossil fuels. So not many countries have legislation. So that would in itself be able to foster greater investment into the energy sector. We need to identify partners within the public and private sector who can be able to be mobilized and work together to implement projects that would have a huge benefit, not only in the part of the world, but also in the Caribbean, the Pacific, and of course, Africa. If you can only do that, you can be able to use the, the platform, the flagship of ACP, as an instrument to achieve sustainable energy in terms of renewable energy 
in each of these states. Part of the answer to the problem of expensive energy in the Caribbean could lie with small and medium enterprises that are developing alternative energy technologies. But sadly, many SMEs still struggle to get support as commercial banks and investors are unwilling to finance new clean tech sectors. We need to find a way to encourage the investors to invest in the technologies and in companies like mine that will implement and, and put in projects. The, there's no reason why uh, the technology can't pay for itself through actual production of energy, which it does. But the problem is accessing the capital to actually install the system is our biggest problem. There is always going to be a challenge until such time as we're able to get the financial institutions to recognize the importance of investment in energy efficiency. While in Guadeloupe, they are the motor of our economy. The small and medium enterprises are very numerous and uh, the daily activity of our country is dealt with by small and medium enterprises. So any implementation of our economy cannot go ahead without implicating the small and medium. It then create employment. It then uh, that are uh, responding to the people needs daily. So it's at the level that we can change the, you know, the, the economy into a sustainable mode of development. I think there is still um, some misinformation perhaps of you know who are the Caribbean SMEs, especially Caribbean SMEs in renewable energy. I think a lot of investors still don't have enough information of what are the initiatives, what is the investment climate, um, what are some of the projects that are being implemented at more of the smaller scale, and I'm speaking from the perspective of the smaller enterprises, not the utility scale um, installation. So I think that's really um, the key issue is informing them. During the forum, consultants presented the findings and recommendations of the study on the strategy and the different steps required for structuring and implementing an incubation investment facility that could pave the way to renewable energy sectors. One of the problems that the Caribbean has, one of the difficulties that we have, is finding funds to uh, promote uh, alternative energy. It's not that there's not enough funds in the region, we have, but the region and in general investors are risk adverse. So this incubator fund that is being proposed by BISCLIM with the support of the European Union, who has been uh, our partner since always, is very important to develop the sector. At the end of the forum, participants had the chance to visit a microgrid in the biggest industrial area of Guadeloupe, set up by Genergis, a leading Caribbean company specialized in development of turnkey projects for renewable energy production and energy saving, proving that the Caribbean region has what it takes to drive new clean tech sectors forward. We've seen a very advanced uh, battery storage system just now. So this is really a state-of-the-art development. And if this one works well, and I have no doubt why it wouldn't, that can be rolled out and you will see lots of industrial roofs like these covered with solar panels. Uh, just one example of where you can go with renewable energy in the Caribbean these days. It's now that we have to, um, to increase uh, the part of renewable energies in the mix, in the energy mix. So it's really, really strategic for Guadeloupe and also for all the Caribbean islands to develop this kind of energy. There is no doubt that the Caribbean holds great potential to develop and distribute clean energy technologies. And despite the challenges, Caribbean bio and renewable energy companies are working hard to access the support they need to succeed and contribute to the effectiveness of the region's broader SME sector, promoting in the region a sustainable, clean, and significantly cheaper energy future for generations to come. Mm -hmm.